Are you confused with picking the right shade for your skin tone? Well, if you're a brown skin girl, then let me help you pick the right shade for your brows. Hey guys, I'm Priya. I am a professional makeup artist and welcome to my new series of Makeup 101 Brown Skin Edition. Welcome to episode 3 and today we're going to talk about everything blush. Firstly, pick a shade that's complementary to your skin tone. So if you have brown skin, purpley shades, bright pink shades like these, a bright orange would look really, really nice. Try not to go for a too light pink. Go for more of a purpley pink and anything with white undertones, you want to stay away from it. My two favorite blush shades at the moment are these ones from Huda Beauty. It's the Strawberry Cream and the Peach Sorbet. I love mixing them together. I also love the Watermelon Pop from the Huda Beauty blushes. So today I'm going to mix these two shades. I love mixing my blushes. The next important thing is placement. If you are over 30, you want to concentrate your blush higher on your face because you want to give that more youthful, lifted effect. If you're under 30, you can basically get away with putting your blush anywhere on your face because you already have that youthful skin and look. So we're going to concentrate on putting blushes higher but anyone could place their blushes here. Putting your blush higher is just going to make your face look more lifted and sculpted. So I'm going to place the blush right here so above my contour in line with the corner of my eye going almost into the temples like so then i like to take a brush and then we're going to tap it and move it upwards and it's okay if it goes into the temple area or mixes with your contour Try not to get it too low down here because that's going to make your face look saggy or pulled down. And can you see already my face here looks so lifted versus the side. It just looks a lot more sculpted. And then I like to finish it off with a powder blush. So something aligned to the shade. This is more of like a pinky peachy blush shade. And this is going to ensure that your blush is locked in place all day long. Now it's okay if you feel like you have a bit extra blush when you first apply it. It will disappear throughout the day. Just make sure you blend everything nicely. And yeah, that's how you apply blush. Like a pro.